The National World War I Museum and Memorial was dedicated in 1926. We annually have hundreds of thousands of visitors here for the museum and for the memorial. Energy efficiency is very important to the museum from a cost containment perspective, but also a control perspective. The program is excellent because it's incentivizing us to make decisions that need to be made any time that you can show the benefit, like this one, where there's a rebate involved, it certainly helps your case as you are working uh, to get approval to move forward with a project. Well, we're saving a lot of energy going completely LED. Here inside the building, we have uh, done several lighting projects, most notably with the portrait wall. We were at 430 watts per light, and now we're at 147 watts per light. And we have upgraded the lighting on the outside of the tower, and so we will be completely LED outside. At the same time, we've been working on our heating and cooling plants. We cool 365 days a year, so our chillers were upgraded. Uh, they were also put online with uh, our Johnson Control System. With the VFD project alone, uh, the rebate that we received was in excess of $40,000. And we're seeing changes in our, in our costs, the way we want to see them, and I believe that we'll see even more change as our demand charge begins to be affected. I think the program certainly is one of the building blocks that makes it possible to become energy efficient. The vendors have been terrific because they've got the same commitment to helping us solve these issues. We could not have done this without any of them. You have to be happy with seeing things work the way they're intended or even better and that is the culmination of planning and research and then actually implementation.